This is a News 2 breaking news alert. He just asked everybody, why you running? Why you running? He just started open fire sprint at the whole building. Now at 11, we continue to follow breaking news. Three people are injured after a man went into a warehouse in Antioch and started shooting. And now that suspect is dead after police chased him down. News 2 is gathering information about that deadly confrontation. And we've got team coverage this morning. We're hearing from law enforcement coworkers and neighbors who were all there as the shooting happened. So let's start things off with Elizabeth Lane. She's live in Antioch, breaking down exactly how the shooting all unfolded, Elizabeth. Good morning, Nikhil, and I can tell you Antioch Pike still shut down here. In fact, I can give you a closer look and walk you through what's happening. So the SWAT teams, were told, went through the Smile Direct Club building. They did clear it, and now investigators will begin that tedious work of processing this very large scene. Uh, and what a scene it is here. Police say there are still many shell casings inside and outside of the building, including a spent magazine that was used in that semi-automatic weapon. Now, we're learning the alleged shooter, 22-year-old Antonio King, is dead. According to Metro Police, two officers fired shots at King, Dylan Ramos and Cheryl Kinchlow. Now, Ramos has been with the department since 2019. We've learned Kinchlow has worked with Metro Police since 2020, and investigators believe that the alleged shooter actually shot three people. We know one of them is in critical condition right now. All three are men. One is a Smile Direct employee, and two are armed security guards that were contracted out here by another company. One woman hurt her ankle when employees began running out of the warehouse after those shots were fired. As you can imagine, it was a chaotic scene this morning. Uh, and we spoke with a spokesperson for Metro Nashville Police, Don Aaron. He walked us through the shooter's confrontation with officers. Take a listen. As officers were responding to the call, the shooter left the building. This day shift employee left the building. Officers spotted him at the intersection of Antioch Pike and Franklin Limestone Road. Officers demanded that he drop the gun. He was carrying a semi-automatic pistol with an extended magazine. Officers demanded that he drop the gun. He did not, but instead was directing the gun toward the officers. Uh, the man was shot by Metro Police. And that alleged shooter, again, Antonio King, we're told, did die on the way to the hospital. Right now, TBI is handling the investigation. Top of mind right now is determining what incited this morning's workplace violence. Reporting live in Antioch, Elizabeth Lane, News 2.